Hello guys and welcome back to Gemini Gamer. So this is a new KSP new show episode. This is week number 10. So I did not miss last week. I know I didn't upload one, but I didn't miss last week because there was no news to report. So uh, there was no reason for me to make an episode. So I just ended up uploading a Hearts of Iron 4 episode. So if you're into that stuff, go check it out. Um, so first things first, I want to talk about um, a little thing that I'm hoping to include into this show a little bit you know right now i'm playing random gameplay in the background you know just to entertain you a little bit while i'm talking but uh you know i want to create this little thing where you uh you know the viewers you uh upload uh your craft your favorite spacecraft for me to show off in each episode so i just want to know your opinion on this if you like if you would like that uh you know i don't know i want to do it because you know will help me out a little bit in order to include better uh, gameplay in the background for you guys. I can build, but you know, just, you know, right now I'm just using the normal stock uh, KSP craft right now because I haven't had time to actually build anything yet or anything interesting, uh, you know, since I've been trying to expand the channel a little bit and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so if, every week I would like to create a challenge. I will go through each craft. I will check out which is the best. And if you guys want that, I can do that. If not, then I guess not. But... Leave a comment down below. I'll see what comments get a you know the most uh, support, and if not, then I won't do it. But if they you know if it does, I'll do it. And uh, yeah, so whatever. It'll be every week. Uh, I won't do it yet, but if you guys want me to do it, I'll do it. So yeah. And again, guys, remember if you're enjoying the show, uh, the weekly show. Remember, I release these every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share each episode to make sure more people get informed on what is going on with Kerbal. And other stuff like that. So, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get on with the space news first, and then we'll move on to the development news. Um, so, in space news, we actually have, uh, you know, all, all of basically all of the stuff that's going to be launching this year in 2018, since it is a new year. I think this is the first episode of 2018. I think it is. I'm not too sure about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so, you know. Uh, Falcon Heavy is about to launch, uh, Inside Lander, the Mars Lander, the new Mars Lander is about, about to launch, and Osiris Rex is going to reach the asteroid that it's trying to catch up to, so that's cool. So all that stuff is, you know, listed in the blog, make sure to check it out if you're into that, you know, real life space events, check all that stuff out. So anyway, uh, let's move on to the development news, I'm not going to go over space news, everything, because, you know, it's just, nothing really has happened yet, it's just future things, but, uh... Development news, let's go ahead and get going. So, Making History Expansion, you know, that good expansion that's coming up. And also, I'd like to mention there's going to be a couple of disappointing things here. And a couple good things. So, release date coming up here. I'm going to tell you when in a little bit. So, let's go ahead and get going. So, with Making History Expansion, uh, the objective display UI, I guess, has been completed and, you know, exec you know included in the game develop uh, update, I guess, they're, they're trying to use uh for the qa team so now that's complete so i guess they finally figured out a good way to implement that i mean it's going to be a little bit weird you know usually in this types of situations they don't do very well developers in implementing new ui into games that already had a ui but you know i don't know i don't know it's just going to be a little bit weird for us so hopefully this this good hopefully it's good so anyway uh the qa team uh the testing team basically is now testing the uh Balance of the new parts that are going to be added by the enhancement, the the expansions are, uh, the history expansion. So, you know that's good. Basically, uh, most most of the parts are already working, but at this point they're just basically making sure that, you know, uh, they're working. They're balanced with the game. They're not OP. Uh, they're not. Uh, you're gonna blow up when you, you know, place them in the in the launching pad. You know what I mean? They're not gonna blow up when they have a part on top of them or on bottom. You know, stuff like that. Simple stuff like that. I wish I was part of the QA team, but you know. I'm not, so I can't really explain exactly how their testing process goes. But basically, I think they're just playing with the game. And, you know, that's probably the best way to test anything uh, when a new update is coming in. So, hopefully they do that very well and can get this stuff going. Uh, so, yeah, so some work has also been done on making the expansion parts work better with the, uh, you know, the stock parts. So, uh, basically, the thing that was happening was that some of the parts are like, not compatible with the stock parts or weren't very useful with the stock parts the stock parts already replaced their new function so now they're just going to be making them a little bit more useful and a little bit more uh better to use and easier to use so you don't have to be scott manly to use them you know what i mean stuff like that 
So anyway, let's move on to the node part of the episode. You know, the nodes, uh, I think, is one of the more boring parts of the episode because not a lot of people are going to get into that. Creating part, you know, missions. I mean, it's exciting because you're going to be able to create your own little challenges and, and stories. But, you know, not, most of the gaming, careful gaming community isn't going to be into it. So hopefully, uh, you know, you're into it, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, so... The landed vessel node, basically we already knew about this one, it's going to get new features which includes stability time, so basically when you land, uh, in order to complete that part of the objective you have to keep stability, so basically not moving around, just controls, not touching the controls, SAS may be on, uh, but just not moving around. Uh, vessel speed options, so basically you could get a rover to start going really fast in order to complete a vessel node. And a docking test node, basically this is going to work by... Uh, setting up a list of parts that need to be connected together in two different crafts uh basically just a docking challenge i guess uh make sure you you can dock to a different specific spacecraft uh i'm not it, it's gonna work uh, you know you can build your own spacecraft you're gonna have to then dock those two spacecraft with a specific part or you're gonna have to uh use the you know the scribe spacecraft given to you by the mission creator and then dock them together and that will basically uh, complete the node. So, you know, go cool stuff like that. So, anyway, new nodes. Uh, so, vessel stage activated. So, you know, this node is basically going to trigger an event once you activate a stage. So, maybe it's going to say, oh, man, your Kerbal is running out of oxygen when you uh, the stage, the final stage. And uh, you have to, uh, you know, when the capsule and the heat shield, you're coming in for a re-entry. And then your Kerbal's like, oh, your Kerbal's like overheating or something like point the, ca the capsule in some specific direction or something stuff like that so or maybe uh when you trigger the third stage your uh, main engine in the fourth stage just fails for some reason and you have to uh basically improvise how you're going to complete the mission after that so that's up to you really and uh other than that that's pretty much it for that uh, repair part node a uh, certain part is repaired once you pass an event uh, so this is a little bit disappointing because it means there's not going to be any repairing uh, expansion by engineers. Basically because uh, there will be no KIS similarity. You know what the KIS mod is? If you don't know, check it out. It's a very cool mod. Uh, so, you know, uh, you're not going to be able to get a Kerbal out to repair a specific part because you yourself broke it. Uh, it's going to be a triggered event. Uh, so if your engine's not working, once you pass this triggered event, uh, your engine's going to magically start working. Your Kerbal is not going to get out and do some repairs it's just not going to be like that it's just going to be a triggered event which is disappointing but oh well and the fly through node very straightforward uh you know no need to explain and the dialogue message node again very straightforward no need to explain that so you know that's pretty much it for the that part of the development news the making history expansion news so in terms of nodes and stuff like that so anyway let's move on to the 1.4 update which is coming up soon uh still no real development uh, development release date for that so you know hopefully soon uh, so the localization update that we talked about in the past couple episodes is going to be included no matter what so you know if you want to know something about that stuff and other news about it uh, go check out the last couple episodes I've been talking about it a lot and uh, you should probably check it out if you want to learn a little bit more so anyway uh, so I'm gonna move on to the more disappointing news uh so the developers state in the blog the web the dev, dev blog they state that um this update will include some of the new parts that they have been talking about in the past couple episodes so this means that uh the dlc the well now that now it's completely dlc the making history expansion pack will be confirmed to be requiring money for you to get no matter what um, so you know those parts those features of the nodes and mission creation will require money for you to get they won't be free anymore so that's 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 a shame that's really is a shame I was hoping I had, I had a suspicion had a very big suspicion this was gonna happen but I was hoping that it wasn't and it was just a suspicion you know what I mean so uh, it's disappointing but uh that's just the way it's gonna be uh, you're going to require money in order to actually be able to play with the new parts and uh, the new features. 
Which, you know, is what happens when you change developers. You know, the older developers were cool. They, they didn't, uh, they were slow as hell, but they didn't, uh, force you to pay for DLC content. So, yeah. So that's disappointing. Uh, I could see it coming, but I was hoping that it was just, you know, not going to happen or, or, you know, just a random thing, suspicion of mine, but I, I could see it coming. Maybe they said so before that it was going to be a paid thing. I didn't notice, but if you haven't realized that it's going to be paid. Making history expansion will be a paid expansion, so no more free content from squad and the developer and the new developers, I guess. So GG for that. But uh, on the positive side, the 1.4 update will include a couple new parts, and I'm gonna go ahead and and you know go through that list right now. So uh, the pictures will be shown on the screen as I go through the list. Uh, so you know, just look at the screen and you'll see the pictures of the parts. So the AJ10 engine. Is the first part that's shown. It's an Apollo-like service module engine. Uh, will probably be the replacement for the Poodle. Uh, so the Poodle, the ugly Poodle engine will be gone. And uh, thanks for your service, Poodle. But I think it's time for you to go away. And uh, then the next part is, or the next couple parts, because it's uh, multiple parts, is a new set of decouplers and separators. Uh, the ones at the top are the separators and the ones at the bottom are the couplers. So the separators are basically the, the part that completely detaches itself from other parts in the ship so if you have it in the middle both pieces of the ship will be apart and the separator will not be part of those pieces of the ship basically just makes it a little bit more modular uh allows you for more modular construction in space so that's cool stuff and there's a lot more of them so cool it looks like it goes all the way up to five meters but i'm not too sure i think yeah, I think 5 meters, yeah. I remember talking about that in a couple episodes before where 5 meter parts were confirmed, which is cool, but, you know, not in this list. No, no 5 meter parts. Other than that, no 5 meter parts. So, yeah. So, the next thing is fairing textures. We've seen that before. If you want to go, if you want me to go into more details, go check out some of the more uh, episodes before. I think on, uh, it's part of the title fairings, new fairings. So, go check it out. I talk about how new developments have led to better textures and other stuff like that. So, and then the revamped RCS tank, we also went over it. I'll be on the screen again here. But if you want to see more detail on that, go ahead and check out the episodes before. Uh, and then something new. New skins for the Rockamax, Rockamax fuel tanks. So basically the orange uh, space shuttle fuel tanks. The old orange space, off, space shuttle fuel tanks will be getting a revamp. So there's two uh, textures now. The normal orange version and the white checkered version, Saturn V version. So, you know, kind of like the new 3.0. 75 meter parts uh well not new but you know part of the nasa expansion thing that kind of went away but you know i wish the new expansion was kind of like that where it was free but i guess not and then uh we're also getting a mono propellant toro doyle tank so the circular tank that exists in the game right now but only carries uh liquid fuel instead of uh the new one that's going to be carrying mono propellant so you know, cool stuff, cool stuff. Just more more options if you're into that stuff. RCS construction and, and, produ and you know, propulsion and your stuff like that. So it's going to make it a little bit easier uh, to use those RCS engines that are currently in the game. Or thrusters, really. Not really engines, but you, you know what I mean. So hopefully that helps out if you're having trouble with that. And then the new shouts are also going to be included for the engines. Uh, so, and other junk. So shouts for other stuff, too. But, uh, you know. All of them are on the screen. There's a lot of them. A lot of different sizes and stuff like that. So, uh, you know. I don't know. So, maybe maybe for just... There might be parts, separate parts or stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure they're going to be including for the engines. And I guess they're going to be included also as separate things for you to hide things inside your ship. So, maybe... Uh, we saw a service module uh, earlier on. I don't think I was doing the show then. But there it was there. So, whatever. Uh, so, you know, cool beans. And then we move on to the more exciting things, even though it's console news. Uh, the most exciting thing for today's episode, at least. It's console related, but if you're into it, it's going to be very exciting for you. So, the Curry P Enhanced Edition will, again, no new f features were announced other than... The ComSat and the CurbNet will be included. The ComSat features and the CurbNet features will be included in this new update. So make sure if you wanted that to be included, it's going to be added now. So you're going to be able to lose your uh, space probes in space forever now if you want. Uh, so anyway, 
Um, again, the new game will be free. I want to mention this. This game, this thing will be free for people that already purchased the game. Uh, this new update will be free. Uh, it's going to be a separate game because of, the, again, development changes, which is kind of screwing us over completely, but whatever. It's not their fault. Um, so anyway, uh, again, you don't have to worry about release features and news about it because uh, this thing will release on January 16th. This is next Tuesday. If you're watching this on Wednesday that they uploaded it, uh, this is next Tuesday. So I guess I will be reporting a bit in the next episode, but uh, this will release on next Tuesday. So make sure to go download that on that day. Make sure to check out the Twitter feed for the KSP uh, you know, game uh, in order to know exactly when it's released for you to go turn on your PS4 uh, or Xbox because it is, it is releasing for both on the same day. Uh, so make sure you do that. Uh, they might they might release on separate you know hour you know hours or minutes, but you know that doesn't matter. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Because usually they have trouble releasing their stupid updates. So whatever. Uh, they're gonna be releasing them both, and on January sixteenth. All right. So yeah, that's the release date for that. If you're excited, leave a comment down below. If you're not, then you know, just say so. Say why you're not. So uh, remember, uh, guys. Remember the thing I was talking about earlier on, where where I'll be looking for your spacecraft i i you know if you don't want to leave a comment below if you don't think that's a good idea leave a comment below and if you do think it's a good idea leave, leave also leave a comment below in order to support that idea to make sure i do it uh, I'll, I'll make sure i create a safe system for you guys to upload stuff and me to download i don't want to get any viruses and i'm pretty sure you guys don't want to waste your time so uh, it's just a way to show off your ships if you know you have like a really cool ship that you want to show off make sure to do it because i'll play it on the game and uh, i'll mention it i'll i'll make sure i go over who made it and uh and what's its purpose so make sure to do that um make sure to comment that and make sure that if you want this to happen make sure to leave a comment down below even if it's just one comment i will do it one more comment than the comments saying that they don't want me to do it i will you know i'll still do it uh so make sure to do that and i'll create a system and i'll include it as soon as possible into the show so um yeah, guys, again, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like and comment and share the episode. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell to get notifications on the videos that I upload. Uh, I upload these on Wednesday, so make sure to do that and make sure, you know, to be ready to watch them when I do because there's a lot of news coming up. Uh, I'm pretty sure the release dates for the new expansion, Making History expansion, is coming up too, and the 1.4 update is probably coming up even sooner. So, or maybe later actually so i don't know probably the expansion is coming in but maybe they're around the same time i don't know but whoever whichever one comes out first i'll make sure to report that to you guys and make sure you guys know when that's coming up so guys again thanks for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video goodbye